grand rising, grand afternoon, grand evening, trust and move forward. Hi, welcome to my channel. Thank you to all my new subscribers, all my subscribers, everybody, and my new ones yet to come. Um, I love you. Happy Friday. It's November 3rd. It's my mom's birthday. Trust that miracles are coming in. Yeah, um, she's passed. Trust abundance is coming in. Um, she was murdered. You've been sitting in contemplation. But don't get stuck there. Don't pitch a tent and camp out, okay? So it was 1311, which is 111 when I went to start this video. Um, do you believe in magic? Something about young girls, huh? The magic, it's a mystery what's coming. You want to know so bad. And God is telling you, relax, child, relax. Because it's a surprise. Oh, I'm getting those confirmation chills all over. Because of your pure innocence of heart. Um, There was something that I was supposed to speak on. Oh, 1313 times. That'd be 113. See, 1313. Hold on. I'm going to have to pause again. People coming in now. Or just Mike. Um, 1313 karma. Coming back around. Um, so karma coming back around. <sighs> Magic keep showing up um i'm not gonna go like someone's doing magic on you you are the magic believe in magic positivity we have two ways to look at things we can look at it from a a love perspective or something that is is all good for us or we can look at things from yeah because your future depends on it um or we can look at it from a place of this is good for us regardless of what it is um, I'm, I'm hearing some say, oh yeah, easy for you to say, you know, you're this, you're that. Well, you don't know where I come from and the things that I've, I've been through. Um, so I can honestly sit here and say, um, and I'm being asked to refer back to, to my mother in December, 1998. She was beat to death with a rock. Her face was smashed in. Um, her friend was beat first, and they came upon her later. And um, so bad that it took them um, like 10 days or something to identify who she was. Nobody could do that. They had to do dental records. Um, the worst day of my life when I found out. but And then it threw me into... Um, I was going to say a 10 year cycle, but it's 1998. It's been way longer than that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to die every day of my life. And yeah, I had small children. So no, it wasn't great. But the best thing that ever happened to me. Because see, I was in a different place back then in my younger years. I'm hearing, I'm supposed to say from all the abuse in every way um, and I had violent tendencies in my mind mostly um, I, I was I was sick and I I was still a loving caring person but in my mind in my thoughts I mean when I was a little girl I used to anyway it wasn't great so after violence was my thing you know I loved it to watch it hold on I had to take a long pause. Um, where was I at? Um, anyway, so I used to like to watch violent movies and gory shit and all that. And it, I know this is going to sound psycho, but um, yeah, it used to kind of turn me on. Okay, so yeah, that's where I was. But after um, my mom's 
death um that changed me who knows what i don't think i ever would have ever you know i'm not going to get too much into it so you can let your minds wander if you want <laughs> People are going to think what they want to think anyway. Nothing we do or say is ever going to um, change what someone else thinks about us. So what you think of me is none of my business. Discernment. <clears throat> Communication and recognition. So I don't know why I went on this tangent, but, you know, it is what it is. But, um... So out of every bad thing that happens, thank you for getting me back on track, God. Whatever bad thing has occurred, there's a silver lining. There really is. There's something good that comes out of it. I mean, if you look back on your life and, you know, I look back, you know, I've always... My soul, what God has put in me and gifted me with was the fact to be able to see, regardless of the monster, to see love in them anyway. And for all my life, I thought, man, that's horrible. Why do I have to be this way? Why do I allow people to do this and do that? God said, because you're, you're, you have a special spirit. To be able to love and have compassion and kindness for the ones that mean the most harm to you, that have harmed you the most, to have an understanding of where they're things come from because I could see the pain in people and it's been hard difficult for me in all my life to ever go you know I, I, I can't be mad at them I want to be because I know why they're hurting and why they're hurting me. To, but to be able to sit there and go, wait, I am on the other side of that. No, it's not right. You can have an understanding and understanding and an overstanding of why people react the way they do to you. Because I know it before I step into it. That's my journey. <laughs> I'm the biggest, baddest soul. Give it all to me. <laughs> Your wish is my command. So when I speak of things, not only is it God coming through and speaking things, but I have lived these things as well. And I am currently living these things. I speak things that I am growing through at the moment. And as you watch my videos, you'll see I get those aha moments at that time because I hadn't known it yet because God has not shown it to me. When you are a speaker for spirit, making sure I'm saying of the light, right? Of all love and good. Um, you speak things you might, you don't have an, a, a, um, an awareness of yet. I don't. That's the best way it's coming through to explain it. So what was all of this about? That no matter what you're going through, you're growing through, you're going to get through it. But you have a choice. And the choice is, how am I going to look at this situation? As a victim or as a victor? Things aren't being done to you. You chose this path. And if you don't believe that, that's fine. You don't have to believe the things that I say. 
that's fine. That's where discernment comes in. That's where you going into your own self, because the only way you're going to get through all this shit is to go through it from going in. You got to go in to get through. And if I'm getting, if you think that up until this point, things have been hard, <laughs> hopefully they were really, really hard because, um, I gotta stop my daughter. Okay. Hopefully it was really hard because the harder shit has been for whatever your calling and your purpose is, all of that was needed. That training, that boot camp. That tearing you down and building you back up, reborn into it, the, the person that you are, not in the human form, but in the soul, to play out in human. Because if you read the Bible, you read you read Enoch and, and all the stuff that was hidden and, and hidden and taken from us, so we wouldn't have a, a complete um a complete yeah, see, breaking free from the old um, limitations and thinkings of the mind, but a complete in its completion. But see, what the what the what I'm getting is, everyone will be held accountable because the information is out there. It's up to the individual person to go looking for it, or to be spoon fed by the demons that run the churches. It was all a mystery till it wasn't. See, we have the world wide web, the interwebs. So all, I'm getting chills all over. So all information is out there. Do the work yourself because so, and I was talking with my son yesterday about this and he's, you know, and he said, mom, all these people, these Christians and all these people that go to church and every, he's like, they all think they're going they're going to heaven and, and they're going with Jesus when Jesus comes. He's like, but they're not. I'm like, I know, son. It's an inside job. It's coming to Jesus. It's coming to God. It's coming to love. It's coming home to yourself, to who you are. I had no idea this was going to go this way. Awareness breaks you free. Awareness is key. Remember that. Remember how you will answer for every single thing because it's been written down. Everything is written in the books. Book of life and a book of death. However you want to look at it. Be the light, the light of the body. Let thine eye be single. Single on God, single on love, single on that's what everything is. We're one. Where we go one, we go all. Not everyone's meant to go. Not everyone will go. But we can't save those. They can only, we can't save anybody. We cannot save anybody. You're not going to be able to turn to anyone and say, will you save me? That is not going to happen. You're the only one that can save yourself. My son and I were talking about this. And he came to that realization because he's been studying. He's been called. He's been looking things up. He's taking the time out to research, you know, the Sumerian texts, the Emerald Tablets, and people in, in churches are going to tell you, oh my gosh, no, you're working with the devil. No, you are. I'm sorry, sir, ma'am. It's you. Because you're so close-minded to one thing, that's how I'm hearing, that's how they want it. They... It's an inside job. Letting go and recognizing that it's all you. All of it. Your character. Your character. The role you're playing right now. Right now on this earth plane in this low density time linear space that we are trapped in is how I hear it. That we're trapped in. Because, folks, we're pure source energy. We're energy. And energy cannot be destroyed, only transferred. It's, I'm hearing, ever flowing. Um, hi. 
communicate your thoughts and your feelings in your own unique way, somebody's going to get it. You're not everybody's cup of tea. I heard, but you're my cup of tea. You get me. I get you. I can't wait. I'm excited for the day that I can go live on my phone because I would really love, I, I would really, really love. So however that is, I don't know what has to be done on YouTube or whatever, but however that is, that would be so awesome because there's so many things I would love to talk with you guys about and for you to share things, you know, with us in our, in our little star family. Our OGGs, you know, you know me. <laughs> I was down with God. Every last homie. Um, hope. Healing. In Enoch. The book of Enoch. I'm not sure if it's the first, second, or third. I know it's not. I don't, I don't think it, it's the first is about the watchers. Um, so, or how I saw it in, in, when I was, uh, listening to the audio, audio book and reading along anyway, that's how they had it. But, so don't quote me on that. I, I haven't anyway, in the book of Enoch, um, God is speaking to Enoch and, and, and it's like feed the hungry feed the hungry i don't know if it's clothe the naked but and and help the you you help take in and care for the widowers the orphans that's that is what's going to get you in into the promised land service to god's children which is God, which is Jesus. You never know. You never know when you run across a human, what that human embodies. You never know. So always be kind and compassionate. Always. I'm hearing this is a test. Ego. Dr. Wayne Dyer said, ego, edging God out. That's what ego is. There's no God in ego. Well, except if I say it like that. But in Eckhart Tolle, and I always refer to these, the pain body. And I, and I love that probably the most because isn't that what ego is? Our human part, our programming, our traumas, our pain body that we react from. When we're unaware and not mindful in the present moment, in the now. When you come to this inner standing, you get an inner knowing of what your truth is. Regardless of what all other people say, that's when you do the research. You go up and you look and you pray to God. God, give me discernment to my soul. What is your truth? And not someone else's spoken or written truth. In the in the days coming, it, it, discernment, you're going to have to, you know, we got to come face to face. And I'm going to say, get back to the basics. Back to the basics, my friends. I love you. Hope keeps coming out. Let's grab in the middle or grab somewhere here. Re-energize. You're going through... If you feel sluggish and tired right now, your body is healing, it's growing, it's upgrading for your next step. Accept it. Take this time because the next phase, when they're like, all right, ready, go, go, go. You're going to hit the ground running, fucking running. I'm going to shoot a video after this one about the dream that I had and um, peace, love, peace and love. I also am Serena, light of love. <laughs> Zen, because we're moving forward. We're marching forward. Look, I heard leader of the pack. Leader of the pack. 
we're smarting, smarting. Five, the number five. So I can't, I'm, I'm hearing and I'm hearing and I'm supposed to say this. This is from, from God. Five, five of you will be called. Five of you will be called. We will get together at the gap. There's going to be a gathering. I don't know what this gathering is, but anyway, we will come together and we will go out and at the appointed times when God says, then we will be seeking out the rest. So I don't know when this is going to happen. We don't know the hour of the day, but um, be ready. Oh, yeah, this is uh, bringing me back to something that came to me last night. I was sitting here and I was like, yep, I already have my bags are packed, so I'm ready to go. I'm like, what? What? And what I was getting is some of you already have something packed or whatever um, because or you've been getting this nudge, this this inkling, this this nudge at your soul that sits in you. It's like, I I'm supposed to be getting ready, you know. I'm moving or I'm going somewhere. Something's changing. I'm supposed to be getting ready. There's something about having the something that you need pretty much like always packed because um, we're going to be moving. Going, going. You know what I mean? Um, anyway, I'm super excited to see the mystery and the surprise that God has. You know, so get excited about it. Get excited because you know what? If you're in the state of, oh my God, the world. Oh my God, what are we going to do if you're in that state? Well, here's your sign. Either you're going, I heard hell, whatever. You're going that way because of the fear. And those of you that know that, you know that, you know, you're like, oh yeah. You don't even focus on the bad part that's coming on the fire world. Because we're moving forward because we are the builders, the creators, um, the ones, the ones that are gonna, yeah, building the new world. Ask for help. Breaking free. You have to make the decision. The support is there. What you've been dreaming of is coming. Communication's coming soon. And um, abundance of healing. I, I was just getting, and I'm getting chills all over. <sighs> They're starting at my feet and ankles. It's so weird. It's like once I say this, I know it's I'm gonna it's gonna be a full fledged um all over <clears throat> the future. Um Dang, I forgot. But you know what? This fell out when I was starting to say that. And they're like, yep, this is truth. Oh, going out and doing miraculous. What did I say? Healing. Your spirit is free to move about the earth. <laughs> I love that. There's healing again. Yeah. An abundance of healing we're bringing to God's people. I'm hearing you are the way showers. Um, I'm getting chills all over. You know, that is a big, cause it's a mystery that you'll never know the day or time. That's the mystery. Dive deep into the light. You dove deep, which brought you to the light in the darkness. A star I heard emerged, but a star was born. It's important that we go with the flow. The reason why we're so flexible is because at any given moment, any given time, things are going to shift. That's why things have been all, uh, because there are things, because God knows everything. And there are things, people's, people's, principal, there's things that are unseen. That's why you've always had to be on your toes. That's why your things are shifting. That's why you tell people, oh my gosh, God gave me this. So this is what I'm going to do. Nope. Because you done told people, you didn't know this at the time, but you told people, so now they're fucking with it. So now you got to go a different route. 
you're going to get to this end destination here. X marks the spot, but it's going to be, and there's all these different avenues. That's why going with the flow, being flexible, I heard it's going to get you there. I love you. Peace be with you. Love, 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 and all that jazz. Ciao. Peace. Bowing. Namaste.